Welcome back to Top 4 Repairs. If your vehicle is pulling left or right when accelerating, I'm going to tell you guys the most likely issue. The first likely issue is you probably have bad control arm bushing. So this part here is going to be the control arm bushing and this part here is going to be the control arm bushing. So let's take a closer look. And if you see that rubber part on the control arm is worn or missing, then you know you have bad control arm bushing. Another way to tell you have a bad control arm bushing is to get a pry bar and try to move the control arm like this. If it starts to move, then you know you have bad control arm bushing. If you don't have a pry bar, you can always use your hand and try to rock the control arm. Try to move it up and down. If you can easily move the control arm, then you know the bushings are worn and you should replace the control arm. The next likely issue is maybe your caliper is seized or partially seized. So make sure to compare the uh, passenger side brake caliper with the driver side brake caliper. And what you're looking for is you're looking at the brake pad. You want to make sure that both sides are wearing out evenly. If one side is not wearing out evenly, then you know the uh, caliper is most likely partially seized or is seized. The next likely issue is it's going to be bad ball joint. If your ball joints are worn, it's going to cause the vehicle to pull left and right when you're accelerating. Also, you're going to hear a knocking noise or thumping noise when you're accelerating or when you're driving over an even road or when you're going over speed bumps. To check for bad ball joints, all you have to do is grab the wheel or rotor and move it up and down. If there is movements, then you know the ball joint is worn and you should replace it. Also, if the ball joint rubber boot is torn and you see grease coming out of it, you should replace the ball joint anyways because eventually it's going to fail when dirt and rocks get into it. Next, check the stabilizer linkage rubber boot. If the rubber boot is worn or torn, go ahead and replace it. One way to check if the stabilizer linkage is bad is when you grab it and you can easily rock it and there's movement, you should replace it. Next, check for a bad outer tie rod. If the outer tie rod rubber boot is worn or torn, go ahead and replace it. To check if you have a bad outer tie rod, all you have to do is grab it and move it side to side. There should be no movement. Next, check the sway bar bushing. If the rubber bushing is missing or it is torn or worn, go ahead and replace it. Next, check the racket pinion bushing. If the bushings are worn, again, you should replace the racket pinion bushing. Can a bad engine mount or transmission mount cause your vehicle to pull left and right? And yes, it can when they are extremely worn. If you can't find out what the problem is, maybe you're just dealing with torque steer. Torque steer is basically when the engine torque is influencing the steering and it's causing the vehicle to either go left or right when accelerating. The issue is going to be worse, especially when you have a lot of horsepower coming from the engine. There is little or no solution to fix torque steer. It's something you're just going to have to deal with, especially when you drive a front wheel drive vehicle. I hope you found this lesson informative. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.